All right, welcome back to episode three of season four of Game of Thrones. So we just came off of your favorite episode of the series so far. My favorite. Episode. Where we saw the death King of Joffrey the psycho is dead. Joffrey is dead. Like Baratheon, Lannister, whatever you call it. This should be interesting and see what happens. For the rest of the season, because he saw Cersei. She's trying to blame her brother for it. Thinks he killed her. Uh, let's, let's get right into it and see what happens. You think I'm going to escape? Where would I go? My family's gone. I've got no one. You've got an aunt in the Vale, rich Aunt Lysa. Men said you. Those crows at Castle Black. Nice and fat. Have you ever been to Marine? They say a thousand slaves died building the Great Pyramid of Marine. My enemies have made my kingdom bleed. There's power in King's blood. The usurper, Joffrey Baratheon. Tell me my one. <gasps> He's choking! Come with me now. Joffrey! Oh, poison my son. Take him! Or, oh, Joffrey. You did this! Where's his wife? Where's Sansa? Find her. Bar the gates of the city sees every ship in the harbor. Where is she? No one leaves the capital! Well, she better leave. He's trying to smuggle her out of there. A little rowboat. Get in. Where are we going? Somewhere safe. Girl, get in. Uh, yeah, don't stick around, it's it ain't gonna work out for you. Hmm. Pretty sure they gonna have every pigeon or whatever going out. <laughs> You'll be fine. You're stronger than you know. You're stronger than you know. <gasps> well, look at this. A little finger. I'm sure you've had quite a fright. Rest easy. The worst is past. Don't say I, I should get back before someone thinks to look for me. First, you'll want your pay. Okay, I think. Why did you kill him? Because he was a drunk and a fool, and I don't trust drunk fools. Hmm. Money buys a man's silence for a time. A bolt in the heart buys it forever. That's the truth. A what? A bolt in the heart. And he gave you a priceless necklace that once belonged to his grandmother. The last legacy of House Hollard. Hmm. I had it made a few weeks ago. Hmm. What did I once tell you about the capital? Don't believe nobody. But you're safe now. I promise you that. You're safe with me. You'll interest him as far as I can spit. <laughs> so am I the queen? More than you were with Renly, less than you would have been if Joffrey had done you the courtesy of consummating the marriage before dying. One of my husbands preferred the company of men and was stabbed through the heart. Another was happy as torturing animals and was poisoned at our wedding feast. I must be cursed. Bad she don't think she cursed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You may not have enjoyed watching him die. But you enjoyed it more than you would have enjoyed being married to him, I can promise you that. But I would have been the queen. You did wonderful work on Joffrey. 
The next one should be easier. <laughs> Your brother is dead. Do you know what that means? I'm not trying to trick you. It means I'll become king. Yes, you will become king. Better do. What is a good king's single most important quality? This is hardly the place of the time. What about strength? King Robert was strong. He won the rebellion and crushed the Targaryen dynasty. He spent his time whoring and hunting and drinking until the last two killed him. Your mom? Wisdom is what makes a good king. Yes. A wise king knows what he knows and what he doesn't. A wise young king listens to his counselors and heeds their advice until he comes of age. And the wisest kings continue to listen to them long afterwards. Your brother was not a wise king. Your brother was not a good king. Now, as the king, you will have to marry. Do you understand why? The king needs a queen. Yes, but why? To further the family line. Like, he don't care about Joffrey. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't give two shits about Joffrey. All he cares about is getting further the family line. How are you? I'm all right. You are. You will be. I'll see to that. You gonna see too with your nubby. <laughs> Please give the queen a moment alone with us. Yes, Lord. All of you. She need to be next. I'm just saying. It was Tyrion. No, it wasn't. He killed him. He told me he would. Girl, shit. And your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth. That's what he said to me. I mean, he killed. And that was a joy, for real. You saw Dude. Joff point at him just I before he died. what I saw. Avenge our son. Kill Tyrion. Girl, please. Tyrion's my brother. Our brother. He'll squirm his way to freedom given the chance. I want him dead. You die first. Mm. You have to. Joffrey even was disrespecting you. Yeah. Called you old. We're going next. Even in this little. She think you You're like Tyrion. <laughs> Why have the gods made me love a hateful woman? Can't make you love her. Stop it! Stop. Can't even bend up a one-armed man. <laughs> you so silly. She ain't trying to fend him off. Oh, nasty. Yeah, they should be doing the dirty next to the dead thugs. Well. I don't care. Oh, I don't care. Don't care. I gave it up early. You think? You don't have a map? No, I don't have a map. And you're sure we're going the right way? Leave me go. I want you there as soon as I can. Get my gold. Be in my way. On your way where? Why do you care? Very <laughs> I'd like to see Bravos one day. My Bravos. I have friends there. I doubt it. Seven blessings to you. We were just watering the horses. We'll be on our way. Forgive my father. He was wounded fighting in the war. Our cottage burned down while he was gone. And my mother with it. He's never been the same. <laughs> There's a storm coming. You'll be wanting a roof tonight. We don't have much, but any man that bled for House Tully is welcome to it. It's smart little one. Mm -hmm. Father to judge us with mercy, accepting our human frailty. We ask the mother to bless our crops. We ask the warrior to give us courage in these days of strife and turmoil. Impatient. Yeah, you're very hungry. Do all seven other fuckers. Father! 
Isso é... Isso é o nome do mal, sério, né? And they asked the stranger not to kill us in our beds tonight for no damn reason at all. Uh. There you go. I'm so sorry. You waste it. You waste it. No, I have mercy. Really good. Did you fight it between us? Call that a fight? Slaughtering livestock, more like. The Red Wedding, they're calling it. The gods will have their vengeance. Frey will burn in the seventh hell for what he did. The whole country's gone sour. You got any ale? Afraid not. <laughs> Can a man not keep ale in his home? What the heck? I thought you wanted to see. <laughs> what did you do? Get your horse saddled. You told me you weren't a thief. <laughs> You're the worst shit in the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> There's plenty worse than me. I just understand the way things are. How many stars they got to be ahead before you figure it out? <laughs> You're the worst shit in the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> there he is. Sam the Slayer. Going to visit your wildling whore? She's not a whore. No? Maybe I'll give her a copper tonight and find out. I step all here, don't you? All right. Uh, no one bothering you? No one's touched me, if that's what you mean. I worry about it sometimes. Why do you worry about it? <laughs> one hundred men, one woman. They've got other things to think God. about. That's the only thing they think about. <laughs> There's a hundred men lying awake at night picturing you. What about you? You want to I worry about you. Thank you. For what? For worrying about me. Maybe right, you'd be safer in Molestown. I want to protect you. She even know that you really can't protect her. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> You're a literary man now. What do you make of that? Joffrey, the usurper, Joffrey Baratheon. I said those words when I tossed a leech into the fire, a leech filled with bastard blood. Go and get your own man, Dean. Ten thousand skilled soldiers. Fight for the Golden Company. The Golden Company? Never broken a contract. They're cell swords! We're willing to use blood magic to put you on the throne, but we're not willing to pay men to fight? <laughs> if I do not press my claim, my claim will be forgotten. I'm running out of time, Sir Davos. Which means you're running out of time. He's gonna do kill him? The Life and Adventures of Elio Grivas, First Sword of Bravos. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like this one. It's full of sword fights and pirates. You were a pirate once. No, I was never a pirate. I was a smuggler. What's the difference? Well, if you're a famous smuggler, you're not doing it right. <laughs> what are the Bravosi? You've sailed to Bravos? Of course. I almost got beheaded by a first sword of Bravos. I suppose if you work for the Iron Bank of Bravos, and each one of your gold barges is worth half a kingdom, you tend not to be overly concerned with the kind of distinction. <laughs> what was that for? I need you to write a message. I need a smart person to do it. For one, to the officers of the Iron Bank of Bravos, from Stannis Baratheon, the one true king of Westeros. But that's not you. I need to get their attention. <laughs> He's seen some adventures, hasn't he? Now why he gonna bring her there? Like she gonna be better there? I know, right? He's Jon Snow. Just take her to a whorehouse. She'll be safe there. He's Jon Snow. Gonna be able to help. Baby. 
Is it Daddy? No. Where are you from? Get out of my face. North of here? You're fucking rolling. Only room and board. That's right. No other work. There'd be money. Give you a piece of it. No other work. I promise to come back and visit whenever I can. I think she had admitted it at the... I'd rather be with a hundred men <laughs> thinking about me than they're there. They're brothers of the Night's Watch and I can't just stab them in the back. And I can't run away, which is what we did at Craster's. You have to trust me. It's for the best. Best for you. <laughs> really? This for you. Prince Oberyn. Lord Tywin. May we have the room? Would you like to sit? No, thank you. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm sorry about your grandson. Are you? I don't believe that a child is responsible for the sins of his father. Or his grandfather. The king was poisoned. I hear you studied poisons at the Citadel. I did. This is why I know. Your <laughs> hatred for my family is rather well known. You arrive at the capital an expert in poisoning. Some days later, my grandson dies of poisoning. You spoke with Tyrion in this very brothel on the day that you arrived. What did you discuss? You think we conspired together? What did you discuss? The death of my sister. For which you blame me. Men at war commit all kinds of crimes without their superior's knowledge. So you deny involvement in Elias' murder? Categorically. I would like to speak with the mountain. I could arrange for this meeting. But you want something in return. Asking me to judge at your son's trial isn't quite as tempting. I would also invite you to sit on the small council to serve as one of the new king's principal advisors. <laughs> I never realized you had such respect for Dorn, Lord Tywin. The king is dead. The Greyjoys are in open rebellion. A wildling army marches on the wall. And in the east, a Targaryen girl has three dragons. <laughs> Only the Dornish managed to resist Aegon Targaryen and his dragons. You're saying you need us? We need each other. You help me serve justice to the king's assassins, and I will help you serve justice to Elias. Yep. Okay. Do you trust him, though? I wouldn't trust him as far as I can spit either. We speak bit fuck, so. Uh, about that far. Mm. What are they saying about me out there? You are to stand trial in a fortnight for murdering the king. Do you believe I murdered Joffrey? No, my lord. You know he has so many enemies. I would like to think, if I were arranging a royal assassination, I'd plan it in such a way that I wouldn't be standing there gawking like a fool when the king died. They... <laughs> Have they announced the judges yet? Your father. Of course. Mace Tyrell. Who will vote exactly as my father tells him to vote. Prince Oberon of Dawn. Oberon? I'll give it to my father. He never fails to take advantage of a family tragedy. Whoever killed the king wanted me to lose my head for it. And with my wife's disappearance, it makes me seem that much more guilty. Mm -hmm. Fucking little finger. Will they at least allow me to see Jamie? I'll ask, my lord. There's something else, my lord. He came to ask if I'd testify against you. Said I'd be named Sir Podrick Payne if I told the judges you'd bought a poison called the Strangler. Are you going to accept their offer? My lord. Testifying against me wasn't a suggestion. If they can't tempt you with honey, they'll choose something less sweet. I will not have you dying on my behalf. Do you hear me? Go and find my brother and tell him I need him. Then get yourself out of King's Landing before it's too late. This is farewell.
Oh. Hope they don't do nothing to him. Pulled. There has never lived a more loyal squire. I be afraid they be listening to what you're saying. No, I'm sure somebody's listening, man. Mother says it's time to eat. What she got boiling? No, wait, wait, let me guess. Potatoes. potatoes. Well, no one boils a potato better than your mum. She got <gasps> What the heck? Hide. Hide! <laughs> starting to hate them now <laughs> people ain't did nothing to them boy what you seriously you gonna hide where they can see you you know how to get to castle black yeah. mm -mm. go tell the crows at castle black <laughs> Damn things. If we go after them, we'll be giving them what they want. They want to draw us out and pick us off a few at a time. We must remember our first responsibility. We are the watchers on the wall. And what does a wall do? I'm just saying. They can't like in, in between. If the wildlings breach the wall, They'll roll over everything and everyone for a thousand miles before they reach an army that can stop them. We need to shore up Castle Black. And we need to defend the wall. That is our job. Rangers returning. Who the hell is returning? Mm -hmm. Thought you'd have. Blue eyes by now. Oh, it's them two. Took you so long. We were held up. By what? Chains. We were guests of the mutineers across this keep. Carl's running things now. We need to ride north and kill them all. I told the wildlings we had over a thousand men at Castle Black alone. Carl and the others know the truth as well as we do. Man says all he needs to crush us, he just doesn't know it yet. And even if every one of us kills a hundred wildlings, there's still not a thing we can do to stop them. Still I don't mean. think I can kill a hundred wildlings. <laughs> he said what? I don't think I can kill a hundred wildlings. <laughs> it's a long walk up there. Big pyramid. And if I came out there to meet him. Are they attacking? A single rider, a champion of marine. What is he doing? He says that we're an army of men without man parts. He claims you are no woman at all, but a man who hides his cock in his own asshole. <laughs> Ignore him, Your Grace. These are meaningless words. They're not meaningless if half the city you intend to take is listening to them. What a dragon did. Did that what a do I have a champion? I've been by your side longer than any of them, Khaleesi. Let me stand for you today as well. All right, so you can die? <laughs> so you can die? With your life. I was the last to join your army. Okay. Let me kill this man for you. Very well. I knew she was going to say <laughs> that. And I want the dragon. You know, <laughs> let me have the dragon so I can just shut him down right there. You sure you don't want a horse? I would want a horse. Horses are faster than men. Horses are dumber than men. Do it. Oh Lord! You bro, you just gonna stand there? She right there, close to. Uh -uh. Oh, 
Jesus. That's one way to do it. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sitiman, Mary Jemi e Vestra. Ela é Astropotistan. Astropot do Hetrosa, Sirinio in Gatiorzi. Dairi. Astropotistan. Yonkai to Hetrosa, Sirinio in Gatiorzi. Dairi. Se sir Merin not mastan. He blew Let's get out of here. She's like, they like, we ain't got a list to this. Come on, so we can save ourselves. Hmm. Oh, the collars off those dead sleeves. People looking like, oh heck, these people gonna, gonna listen to her and they're gonna throw us over the balcony or something. They're gonna kill us. Look like they be like, they're ready to go. Yeah. Like, that, that, oh, you see how everybody she ain't came up against, they all free and standing behind her. She's got a good argument there to get them on her side real quick. She got the largest army. She just got across the walk. Yeah, she just need to get across the walk. Get, get some boats. I mean, she got ships too, don't she? Well, no, I guess not. No, not yet. I thought she had ships. No. No. She might have had one boat at one point. Oh, I thought she had ships. I bet you yeah, she, brother... didn't have, she didn't have a boat at the beginning of season two when they left. Uh, I bet you her brother be like, or after my they, sister. They were, after they uh, killed, put the guy in the in the vault. He would never. I remember them. Yeah, he wouldn't. His, her brother would never been able to do that. Her he would have been. He would have bowed down to everybody they came across. I'd be like, he would have been the slave. Even if he didn't get killed by the Dothraki, somebody would have killed him by now. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I like it. I like it. Starting to pick up again, huh? But I'm like, for real, that's it. That's it. Oh, yeah, that. So that was a quick one. I think that episode went by so fast. <laughs> but yeah, like. Yes. Okay, okay. I like it. I'm still liking it. But Jamie, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. And she's talking about no. Now she's saying no. Why? Because everybody and their mama know what she and did. Uh, Jamie sleeping with each other. Yep. That's what Probably. it is because you know, uh, what's his name? The start guy, the guy that, that was beheaded, he sent out things to all over the place. Oh, so yeah. everybody in the world know now. Oh, everybody knows. That's why she also probably suspected it before he sent that out. But. Yeah, but when he sent that out, it was like, yeah. yeah. He sent it out. It's like proof. Yeah, they nasty, and they continue to still be nasty. Yes, they nasty, nasty. And she was then doing it right next to their dead son. Oh, I'm so glad that boy did. <laughs> yeah, she so no. I'm so glad. I'm glad that boy did. Oh my goodness! Like a little terror. 
Like, Tyrion ain't in a good spot though. No, I hope I hope things pull through for him because I like him, and he's a good character. Why would they kill him off? You know, kill the, his sister off. Hey, we don't care about her. Yeah, kill her off. Can you please kill her off, please? Can you do that? I mean, took you four. Where I gotta wait four more seasons before they kill her off. That's all I'm kind of like. I think you forced these to kill off uh, Jeffrey, Joffrey, whatever his name is. Then Littlefinger is back. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> even though she, I guess she's in a better place as opposed to being at King's Landing right now. Oh, yeah. Because uh, Cersei. Yeah. She would kill her. Oh, yeah. She'd be in a dungeon if not. She, yeah. She'd have her, She'd she kill her. Cut her head off already. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm hoping Shay got away. I hope she did. The guy said he put her on the boat yeah, and she Brown said he put her on the boat, saw the boat leave. So. so I'm hoping. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us. If it's your first time, welcome. And thank you for coming along on this journey with us of Game of Thrones. Um, until next, you know, like and comment. And Hit until that next time. Button. Uh-huh.